G'day folks, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video. And today we're reviewing the ESM9101 gaming controller from Easy SMX. So without further ado, let's get stuck into the video. Let's go. Okay everyone, before we get started, this is a giveaway product, so I will be giving this away to one lucky viewer of the video, and the only way you're gonna be able to win this is to make sure you subscribe to my channel. So recently, Easy SMX reached out to me and asked me if I would like to review a couple of their products, and one of the products they asked me to review was the Easy SMX Gaming Controller, the ESM9101. And I'm just gonna get straight into it and tell you that setting this up on my PC was super easy. I plugged in the dongle, pressed the on button, and it was paired up, and I'm thinking, it, it's, gotta be, it's gotta be harder than that. But it was just simple, just plug and play, and that's really what it was, plug and play. Now it does say that you can connect it to an Android phone or an Android tablet, but you do need a separate adapter. And I didn't get an adapter in the packet with this. So that's one thing I would say, Easy SMX, if you're gonna make that an option, include it in the box. However, I did connect it to my PlayStation and that was super easy, just plug and play as well. So for starting off, connection, easy peasy. Now, for comfort, the gaming controller is probably a good size. I mean, I don't have tiny hands and I don't have massive baseball mitt hands either. So if you do have baseball mitt hands, it's probably gonna feel a little small, but for everyone else, it's gonna feel fine. You do have some crisscross patterns here on the uh, thumb rest areas, and that's just a little bit of extra grip, a little bit, I don't know, a little bit of style to it as well. I do really like the look of the controller. It's nice and simple and has that sort of matte black finish to it as well. And apart from that crisscross patterning, everything else is pretty smooth to touch and uh, no discomfort anywhere for me. So that's a win-win for Easy SMX on the controller. The controller comes with two joysticks, a D-pad, your A, B, X, Y buttons, and your R, T, and L, T, and R, B, and L, B buttons on the back as well. You got a back button, a start button, a power on button, and a reset button as well. And everything's pretty tactile. The joysticks are easy to use. I don't have any issue. They don't stick anywhere. Uh, they're not too loose, I would say. They're just the right amount of movement within the joysticks. And the D-pad isn't clunky or clicky. For me, it's just right. I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. Certainly no issues with the look and feel of the wireless controller. Now, when gaming, I did notice that the joysticks and buttons were nice and responsive. There wasn't any lag that I could see within the gaming. They're easy to use and nice and tactile. It's got a very familiar design to it, so you could say it looks like a couple of other brands that are out there as well, but hey, if something's not broken, why fix it? And this is definitely a comfortable design. And look, I didn't get sore hands and I was probably gaming for up to an hour at a time. I would say the only downfall for me when it comes to the use and everyday use of this is the vibration motor was a little bit, it just felt a little bit cheap in the vibration. Now it's, it's not a big criticism of it, but it is one that should be noted. It's something to consider. I mean, it's not really rattly, but it's just not the most high end vibration motor in there. And you can tell that it is from a budget range, but it is budget, so we can't really knock it for that. It comes with a 600 milliamp hour battery. They do say that you can get up to eight hours of use out of it, but I would say you're probably looking at around seven hours. Uh, but for me, look, like I said earlier, I game for about an hour at a time, and I had no problems with the battery whatsoever. Another nice feature is USB Type-C. I wasn't expecting that with a cheap device, but you do get a USB Type-C for charging, and hey, you really can't ask for much more for a $20 wireless controller. So that's pretty much it for my review, everyone. It is a welcome addition to my household, but it is gonna be given away to a lucky subscriber. So thank you for watching. I hope you appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Check ya.